Okay, now in urban music, right, especially with hip hop and R and B, there have been some new categories of uh, some things that I want to get your take on it. I've heard people use the word, uh, the phrase mumble rap. I've heard the phrase SoundCloud rappers. Um, do people put you in these categories? Uh, what's your take on those categories? Um, have you ever been referred to as a SoundCloud rapper? Have ever have people ever said your music? I mean, uh, his is mumble rap. I mean, not necessarily mumble rap. I mean, I've heard SoundCloud rapper, but like I usually say everything I need to say in my raps. Uh, I look at music from a different perspective than a lot of these artists do. I'm more so on a different wave. I call my wave timeless. That's what my wave is. And my wave is basically making music that people can hear 10 years from now and still feel like it's the greatest shit ever. That's what I'm on and that's what I'm trying to accomplish. I'm still growing as an artist, but that's where I'm trying to take my music to. I'm not trying to be not, not, not a part of none of that different way. It, being referred to as a SoundCloud rapper, when you hear that phrase, is that disrespectful? Is that... Uh, nah, I mean, shit, motherfuckers can say uh, SoundCloud rapper this, but shit, you can also say Spotify and iTunes rapper now, <laughs> shit, like, my mixtapes rapper too, shit. <laughs> it's been real <Rilla> rapper. <laughs> you did, you did, you did surprise people by putting out your recent project two days before uh, on SoundCloud. Yeah, because <laughs> that's my realm. I love SoundCloud. Me as a person, I like SoundCloud. Mm. SoundCloud is great. I look at it like it's my generation's uh, YouTube, I guess. So not a, disres not a disrespectful thing for you? No, nah, I don't look at it like disrespect. They could say that all they want. Chance the Rapper was labeled a motherfucking SoundCloud rapper and look at him. <laughs> Now, your melodic style has had some controversy to it, people comparing you to other people. What's your reaction to that? <laughs> uh, it's funny to me. I think it's funny. I don't really try to sound like nobody. I don't see how y'all can just... I know it's a lot of artists out here that do it, but I could go into the booth and just think about being another man and wanting to be another guy. Like, that's kind of weird. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, fuck it. I, I low-key create a lot of the sauce that these artists is coming out with. I don't want to be like, uh, I don't want to seem like I'm nagging or whatever about it or seem like I'm the bad guy. I'm just like saying like, I don't really get mad about it no more because I look at it like, if you're copying me, I must be doing something right. Mm. So, yeah, but it's a lot of artists that do it. I don't gotta say names. They know. Mm. They probably gonna watch this. When you do, <laughs> <laughs> when you do get the comparisons, though, um, is it a disrespect to you? Do you feel disrespected? I know you don't nag. Sometimes about it. I do feel disrespected. I be wanting to beat motherfuckers' asses because it's like, bro, I'm way greater than what you're trying to compare me to. Hmm. I see. People going to see soon, though. I mean, I don't want to sound too cocky, but I'm just saying. Got you. Yeah.